How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. Yeah. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? Yeah. It's never ending. This game is fucking insane. Absolutely fucking insane. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. No, no, that, that, it's one motherfucker doing this. It's not your fault. Bleh. Bleh. Things fall apart. I don't like that title. The Power of Light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon by Bahamut's essence. The tuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of her, but also the impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing continuous damage. Ability details her. Bahamut's feet. Use Bahamut's iconic feet, wings of light, to begin casting Mega Flare, an immensely powerful sp spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready taking damage while casting will Tell cancel the spell makes Joshua. sense while he rests I might as well see what Otto has kiss kiss it will take time to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion but time is the one thing we always seem to lack yeah I guess okay Let's start here. Greetings from the Crimson Caravans. I trust you and your party gained the Dominion, gained the Dominion without f further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. You might even offer a discount on our usual rates. Louise. Reports from our brothers and sisters of Field are all the same. These accursed skies cannot only cast not only a pall over the land but over the hearts of our people hearts already have heavy from the fall of the of the dominion and the destruction of storm's final mother crystal no there's still one right for now the realm endures but with the fall of the dominion is... okay the storms okay but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness the situation is as ever dire Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May, may the crystal's curse be broken. Word out of twin sight is that there is little left of the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage to escape? Did you imagine manage an escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did, but a solace might be might be good to send. To s might be good to set L's mind at ease. Sure. Fair. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Let's just speak to Otto. Did you see the pair that got pulled into tires? Nope, nothing new here. Oh, did I get new music? Hey -o. Go on then. Uh no nothing here that I want. I didn't use Is that all? What do you mean last elixir? 
Still alive, are you? Coin purse weighing you down. Upon KO, automatically restores all HP, refills, and increases attack power by ten percent. No, that's pretty cool, actually. What are we, what are we working with? Bright burn. It's not that much better. It's. I'll take it. No scratches, all right? That it. Fine. Let's talk to Tomes real quick. Yeah. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. Noise. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. What subject shall we consider today? Is there a max level? I wish that I wish that were reflected in in in, in, in something. Mid was around. Clive, here you go. I know that. Seen enough? At least they're all in the same place, roughly. Yep. Are there a lot, a lot of new ones? Quite a few. Let's check them out and take them down. The Ten of <coughs> Clubs. I could, I could feel that one coming. Uh, is a B. The Mayor. Me. Amare. Down, make you. Merchants who pl ply their trade across the fields of Carava tell of an outlaw. Five and twenty hands high. Claims it. He lives alone, abandoned villages, but no, no, no. okay. Fields. Of Carava, and, and villages. <laughs> the Magith. Brothers. Two brothers. That's an A. Um, quiet Sands. Rosaria. Port is sold. Okay. Ruin reawakened. That can't be good. Reawakened. S. Uh, 
Sambraqua legend tells of a dread dragon who set near half the realm alight with his torrid breath before being sealed away behind a magical mist by Gregor himself. Some sources claim, though it has sunk throughout the great dragons roar reverberating around the woodlands. Okay, we have it for now. What do you have? What will it be today? How may I help you today? How's he doing? Absorbs the power of Bahamut. Yes. Here you are. Wait, wait, Study wait. it well, Clive. Uh -huh. Very okay. good. Hey, Otto. What's going on now? Otto. How fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav, he's with your uncle in the three cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Okay. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. Great. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, oh, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It's certainly Should I have asked about, about the skies then? I suppose not. Where is Vivian? Oh, Vivian's here. Hey, all. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. Okay. I hope so. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Let's examine the facts then. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Is crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards All right. of rock. And yeah. those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. This might a, this might actually worsen is more than the. Oh, what about what about bears? For ether, there remained a drowns in it, spawning a kashik in droves. Really? Amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their 
beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherja has been sighted off storm. Okay. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Mm -hmm. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Okay. Mm. None but us. Let's see what the old guy has to say. Is a storm coming soon? Probably, yeah. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Yep. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens. That, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. Right. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? But Ultima was one of the gods responsible. Probably. Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Of course. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell Where you Where might I find that? Less. I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears mm. what the others have to say. My bear. arrive while you were at the shelves. Okay. Martha's got a cache gates and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. Okay. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. I can go take care of that. When it rains. It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Okay. How do we have more stuff? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Quick look. Oh no. Always I knew about that. There. Okay. Yes. Uh, 
guess. No other quests. Mm. I'll drop by later. Oh boy. Hey, yo. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Of course. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any okay. idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. Yeah, but I can help you with that. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. I suppose, yeah. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that slit. Could you... That's enough. Stop Both saying that? Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil I don't remember is the you. only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. Man, the, but if you're the here, music is really I ominous. I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Hmm. Or an entire city for that it's, matter. It's a bit of an excuse, excuse, uh, excuse but okay. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. So, you see my predicament? Yeah, what yeah. What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. Yep. My thoughts exactly. Uh, what to do? 
Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. Sure. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. Okay. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. Oh, sorry. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal. It may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? Of course. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may be. I don't want to pretend to be a bandit. Please. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. Mm -hmm. Victory, Conrad. Your own. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad. The Lady of the Spear? May I introduce you to Jane, Commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Okay. And now talk to the other idiot. If I had my pickaxe, I would... I mean, it may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill... Fuck off. ...Rundelar's prestigious League of Merchants. Fuck off with, with the Underhills. Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, that is pretty bad. That is the case. The nobles in the capital Dude. are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than 
most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. Okay. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. <laughs> she saw right through us. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Cool. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. I'm scared. Let me check something. Why is it? Why is this still closed? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense. I'm ruined. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. Okay. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Let's go. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move, doubtless, intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Okay, Mistakes fair enough. I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Where are these fucking bandits? Oh. They're right here. Apparently. <laughs> hey buddies, what exactly do you think is, is about to happen here? And... Okay, cool. Do not hit me, do not hit me. Now that takes way too long, dude. They mean to overwhelm us. Come on. Dude, how long does that last? That was very effective. Oh, 
Oh, that that was that's good. How big of a difference does that make? Oh fuck. Charge that help to charge. Eh? Do it again, fucker. That's cool. Noise. The townspeople. Could they have held out? Hmm. I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Cool. So that problem solved. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our uh, visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. P pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I know that. I'll take that as a compliment. Cool. Okay. Okay, let's check out these uh, side quests. Since I'm in the area. What's happened? Can't the gate right on me. But would you have that well notched steel and impressive physique? Calm down. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Uh. Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. That is interesting. And I require a rugged companion. A rugged I companion. Way laid by ne'er do wells or the beasts sent to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, 
but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? Let's do that. Are yours. Wonderful. Then come. We must away. We must but away. Where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Come down. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Wait. No, no, he's gone. <sighs> Good luck with your Nerdwells. Okay. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Yeah, let's uh let's pick up all the quests in the area. Do you have any fresh water? Hmm. No, I just need to see you about getting the word up. <sighs> I want to know right away. Bad news. Good actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. What's the point, oh. then? So you know of it, then. Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sure. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, oh, there's already stuff nearby. Huh. To porter when there's nowhere left to go. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me, right enough. You need something delivered? The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. You must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route at the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd sorrowflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Mm-hmm. That's another quest. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having sure. trouble with thieves. And despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Okay. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Sure. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? Good, I'm, I'm going there anyway. He enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. So it's, it's archaeology. Um, 
can't imagine there are too many grey head cell swords. Sommelier around. craft. Hopefully someone will have seen him. And rescuing a cell sword. That's fine. Now they're not all going to show up. Actually, I'm curious about that. Can we do some... Oh, no, they are all going to show up. Okay, I can only see th three side quests. What's happened? Can't Read. A piece of fruit. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. Okay. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. Or rather we did, till not so long ago. These are lean times and even Bockcloud isn't the bustling trading post it once was. Still, there's no point dwelling on it. Better to live life while you can, eh? And on that note, it sounds like there's a cup of wine needing my attention. Okay. You'll buy won't you? Please. I might fast travel back because everything is price. way too. F okay. it, things aren't close. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. Nah, man. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken to a lot of you guys. Vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. No one's making for the refugee camps anymore. Not after what happened in the Dominion. Meaning, they linger here instead. I spend more of my days moving beggars along than I do manning these gates. What gets to me are the gangs that prey on the poor sods. As if they haven't suffered enough. Some days you can't help but wonder what the world's coming to. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Right. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. What do you want from? Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Water. I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bolek, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Cool. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are. The three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken.
I don't think I do, actually. I don't think I don't think water's a thing uh, in the game. I mean, in the game's world it is, but they don't seem to drink to drink water. When are they gonna let us through? What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Gray hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Okay. Which salt in his mane. Go? Okay. I. How am I supposed to know? What did you Look see, out lady? The road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? It's not a. It's not a complicated question. Is this as far as you made it? You'll hand over your coin if you know what's good for you. And here we go. Are any of them still alive? I guess they are. Well, that problem is solved. not good sir thanks to your timely intervention more importantly we have arrived now feast your eyes upon the marvel before us ruins a relic of the fallen so, civilization oh i thought it was going to be something so a little bit is oft blind farther off its wonder colossal vessels dashed from the very heavens airships we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before Right. You? A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. Oh, was it a but pillar of... of countless yeah, yeah, yeah. In which Zemeckian history I thought it was like a circular explosion, but no, um, it, it seems to be sir. to have been a pillar. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> He's passionate. I'll give him that. Hey. We don't want any trouble. Too do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. Are you scared we saw of him something? Up the rocks. And those ones over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Okay. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, no. Not completely wrong. I don't think there are goblins, but they... I only told them what you said. They might I'd eat listen to your mother if I were you. for dinner. Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here. Hmm.
I think we found our thieves. Oh, that's the Goblin King. Goblin Prince, okay. Why am I finding only one? Quite a bit of life, don't you? Take that, take that. You have too much you have too much health for for, for, for not being staggerable. There's gonna be more, right? Come on! I just don't want you to leave and, and, and me having to start all over. All over again. That was it? That can't be it. That might be it. 33, fuck off, dude. That was a lot of work. Let's get this over with. Stop! I guess there were goblins. Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits. It's, it's really cool that, that they're they're doing a different angle on goblins. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area, and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found that cozy little homestead, and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. Yeah, that's a leader. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and then oh, that's trust cute. into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so I've been teaching them. Oh, that's cool. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Right. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. This is really cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, can you start running yet, please? Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, he didn't lose a sprint. That's how you do it. Oh, was, come on, dude. No. All right, then. And immediately after, I'm gonna kill a bunch of goblins. Attack me! Ooh. 
I think three is three is enough. Done. Oh, goblins are such an interesting society. Immediately kills a bunch of goblins. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final scene. Yeah, we've, I've seen it. It's glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. Right. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward. History awaits. He's an idiot. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's the delivery of that other thing. Okay. We'll come back to it. Are you going to tell me anything interesting about these ruins? Because that would be interesting. Come on, dude. He's really put himself into trouble this time. Oh, are we doing that? Yep. Take care of the smaller guys. Take it. Take it. Just take it. Fuck me. Take that, take that. Noise. Is this it? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? I don't think Alas, that was it. All is mere speculation. I guess we'll find out. One day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. No. Mm. You are right. Actually... And mm. not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. 
In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, okay. even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Hmm. Quest complete? No? And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Thank you. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so here's the thing. There's a couple reasons why 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 I can't shake this connection to to, to to this possible connection to Final Fantasy XII. The first is some of the names like Rosaria um, are familiar. I believe Al Cid was 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 um, the leader of Rosaria. I, I right, I believe so. The thing is, there's an aesthetic component to this. The ruins, every time I see the ruins, they remind me of a, a gate that is opened in Final Fantasy XII. It reminds me of a lot of the architecture of the ancient sites in Final Fantasy XII, but specifically the gate. And it's and that gate is also is, is, show, is shown in the trailer even. It's just so, so, so similar. There are, there are no Joseph other races Steiner. besides humans. He'll so. be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. I don't know <sighs> what's going on. Off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. So side, side quest done. 